Hi bitches and bastards, it's Rachel, T and Teal, and it's been a hot fucking minute since I made a video. So, um, I am just going to get straight into this one. I thought I would do a review, review-ish I guess, of uh, the Resin Soul Me. Things I love about her, things I hate about her, etc, etc. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to show you what she's wearing because I think... YouTube peeps won't have seen this yet. Um, this dress is very unfinished. My mum uh, does all the sewing because I can't sew. And just before I moved out, we were doing this dress and it is so unfinished, but I have nothing else that she can wear. So you can see, I mean, her feet finish here. <laughs> so it's way too long at the moment. Um, Oh, I found this. This is just a uh, bracelet that I was about to throw away because it's broken. It doesn't fit around my wrist, but I thought it would make quite a cool belt for this lady. Um, and then, yeah, this dress. going to be like a one shouldery kind of number, but uh, when I undress her now... Ooh, I was hoping that would be one fluid motion. Let's try again. When I undress her now... Uh, you will see, you will see <laughs> what's happening here. So how has everyone been? Oh my God, I've been so inactive. Um, I've been going through spates of like watching loads, but um, I've just been so bad at keeping up with everybody. So what's new with you? Tell me. Right, so you can see. <laughs> see here I've just kind of tucked it in it's it's really big and baggy there you are it's just fallen off so I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to dress her again <laughs> let's get you naked girl let's get you naked okay so that's the dress off oh. Let me sort her hands out. So, my first impressions um, when I got her out of her box um, was that she is amazing because she is amazing. Um, I think for the price, um, you can't complain, <laughs> really. You know, this is the cheapest SD doll I have seen. Um, they shipped really fast. Um, I think I ordered her. I think I ordered her in February and she arrived like April, I think. I feel like that's right. Um, so, I mean, compared to uh, Adis, who I was waiting six months for, six months, and uh, the Doll Chateau Stacy that still hasn't arrived, I'm hoping she'll rock up this month because I also ordered her in February. So I'm hoping she'll be rocking up soon. But compared to those waiting times, like, that was, this was nothing. So... This uh, particular resin sole me, I have got the jointed hands. Let's see if I can get you up in there. The jointed hands don't come with the doll. I ordered them separately. I think they cost about £30. Um, I like them. The little fingers on both hands. Let's see if I can make her do it. Obviously it behaves now. Obviously. <laughs> But basically, what I find quite a lot when I'm trying to pose her is that, like, it'll kind of twist back this way. Let me get all these fingers out of the way. Who wanted me to make her swear? Someone wanted me to make her swear. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, it's sort of doing it now. It, like, just bends back round on itself, looks super gross, and it can be kind of hard to get back in the socket, or, like, fiddly to get back in the socket, I guess I should say. It's not hard. Um, but that's kind of annoying, um, so quite often if I just pick her up and I want to do something with her really quick, it takes me a good sort of seven, five minutes just sorting out the hands and can we be asked for that? No. So that's um, sort of a little review on the jointed hands. Again, they're really pretty. Um, I think they look really nice like um, in like a closed hand sort of shape but also out. Um, there aren't that 
many poses you can do with them where they stay. I don't know if um, if I restrung them or something, if they would perform better, but I ain't restringing these hands. Are you fucking high? No, no way. Absolutely no way. So those are the hands. Now, you might be able to tell with me holding her, I'm having a bit of trouble with her. She is a bit springy. She, her arms like to do this as well. What, what is that? What human does that? It looks okay from the front actually. Um, I've posed her a couple of times with her arms doing this crazy thing because her hand sort of falls about here. So it's quite good for sort of like posing and whatever. But it, you know, if I was going to go all the way around, it looks really crazy. Um, so I do think this is a stringing problem to be honest. Um, I have not restrung a doll ever in my life. Maybe she'll be the first that I do that with. Um, of course, I'll bring you guys with me for that because that's going to be a hilarious adventure. Um, but for now, I'm too scared. Can't be bothered, if I'm honest. Um, so at the moment, she's just a bit, a bit um, snappy, I guess, is the word. I do want to hot glue suede her because when I hot glue suaded Adis, got rid of a lot of the kicking problems I was having with her. Adis had, um, cause Adis has got um, an extra like twizzle here um, and her leg kept like going in. It was kind of like doing that sort of thing. It was doing a lot just without touching it. She would just do it. Um, and after I hot glue suaded her like that just hasn't been a problem um, ever since. So maybe, um, when I get round to it, uh, hot glue suading her will um, solve a lot of the problems. So, yeah, but I do think she is strung too tightly. She wants to... Stop. Why does it never do it when you fucking film? <laughs> like, all the time I'm struggling with her snapping around and then I put her in front of the camera and she's like, oh, it's fine. I'm perfect. <laughs> I'm the best doll. Right. Warning for doll boobs if you're... A ridiculous person that's offended by doll nudity. Um, I'm gonna get them out. God, it's stuck. <laughs> so, her, I can't be able to take them off the whole way, so deal with it. So, she does have a very beautiful body. I personally think this section here is too skinny. It's too skinny for my personal preference um overall i think as a sculpt she's a bit too skinny but i mean if that's what you're going for then that would be perfect it was certainly what i was going for when i was um shopping for the character that she's going to be um but i think considering how how wide her whip her, her whip cage how wide her whip cage is considering how wide her rib cage is her stomach it's too skinny for me really and it sits quite low um she has a fantastic profile i mean look at that it's gorgeous you've got this like arch going on here and in the back as well but from the front i feel like she's a bit too like if that makes sense who knows <laughs> my my personal preference is just because i think something doesn't mean that you will, obviously. <laughs> um, her back, I adore. Look at the shoulder blades. Look at that detail. I think, I think that's complete. That's beautiful. I think that's fantastic. They absolutely nailed it on the back. Um, front, not so much. I don't know. She's got this like balloon boob thing going on. I don't know. My preference, my personal preferences, guys, that's all this is. This is the my opinion on Doll's channel, so <laughs> that's all. Um, so let's get her arms out of the way a sec. Her legs, again, a little bit too skinny for my personal um, preference. I think with the feet being quite large, because she is a tall doll, um, the feet are quite large, and I think then in comparison with the rest of her, her legs are just a bit too skinny. I feel like if they beefed out a bit in the middle, um, it would look a bit better. Side note, I hate these feet. <laughs> I think they're really ugly. Um, I don't know, the toes are too long. Um, 
the ankle is a bit awkward. See, I don't know. I just think they're really ugly. I think they're too big on her. Um, so they either need to keep the feet the same but fatten the legs or slim down the feet because just my personal preference, I know I keep saying this, in my eyes they're not, they're ugly. <laughs> they are ugly feet. You got ugly feet. But who has pretty feet? I don't have pretty feet. Um, so yeah, so... Um, I realised I said a lot of negative there, just thinking back. So I'm going to have a think about the positives. The positives are the price. She cost me about £200, uh, which is a good £150 cheaper than Adis, who is a smaller size. Um, her collarbones, I feel like um, the smaller details of the body and the way the body looks are really, really good. So, for example, the breasts, I don't like, but the collarbones are beautiful. Let me see. She can't, it's a bit awkward to try and get her in. Sorry, I'm doing her sideways, but I don't want to drag her across the table. But I just think, you know, the SSM there, her collarbones, beautiful. Her back, I've already shown you, I think is beautiful. She has these wonderful um, details in her arms. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. I'm hoping the light is catching that. But you can see like in here and here, she's got a lot of definition. I think it, I think it catches the light really nicely. Ah, that's a bit better. Catches the light really nicely here. Really flows beautifully. And it's the same on her legs as well. She's got streaks all over her legs um, because I'm a shit doll owner. But you can see here where it's catching the light and, and up on the thigh as well. I think on her inner thigh she's got a bit as well. Yeah, here. Can you see? Beautiful. Oh, and the calf as well. I never noticed that before. There. Look at that. I think... I think the smaller details um, of the body are, like, amazing. Like, Adis doesn't really have anything like that. Adis is very, her, the big part of her body is very beautiful, and then the small details, I feel, are kind of missing. And then she's the other way around, where the big details are not to my liking, um, but the smaller details are just, are really beautiful, and... Um, they sort of show up really well um, on film, like you've just seen, and I'm sure they'll photograph. Oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure they'll photograph well as well. Um, her face, the head of the doll, I love. I love, love, love this. Um, there are a lot of dolls um, that I think look very not again not that it's a bad thing i personally want a doll that looks more like this i think adis looks more like this to be honest like the more sort of big doe-eyed uh puffy cheeks really cute not really um realistic but very um cute pleasing looking and i think she has a very natural face i think you could see this face on a person out in the street and you would you you why would you think it was weird i wouldn't think it was weird I love the nose. The nose is a lot bigger than um, a lot of the noses I've seen on dolls. Same with her ears, actually. The ears are quite big, but I love it. They stick out from her head quite nicely. See, did you see that? That's what I was talking about earlier with the stringing. It's just sort of like... <laughs> but, um, but that's my fault, probably. I need to sort that out. Um, her lips. I'm going to try and get her in closer again. Sorry, she's like sideways. It's the only way I can do it without taking the head off. Her lips. Let's see if I can focus. Oh, is it focusing? Oh, come on. I think it's still focusing on me. Stop it. Oh, I don't know if this is working or not. Let's see if I can hide and I'll do it. Those lips, the Cupid's bow, all of that, like I say, the small details are amazing. I I do really love this doll. Um, overall, if you're thinking of getting one, I'd say get one. Um, she's very inexpensive. Um, she has a lot of presence she's very long and elegant and i love that i'm really excited to paint her face um 
the weather and the time has been against me whenever I have time. The weather isn't uh, playing ball with me. And whenever the weather's nice, I don't have the time. So soon, my pretty, you will be painted. But um, I'm really looking forward to doing that. It'll be the first time I've painted an SD head. So I'm looking forward to working on uh, the larger size. Um, so right, let's put your titties back, back in. And I think I might just take this bit off, actually. I don't really need it anymore. So, um, yeah, if you're thinking of getting a resin on me, I say just go for it. She's a beautiful doll. Oh my god, I didn't even talk about her colour. Ah, the range of colours resin will do. Can we talk about this for a hot minute? This blue, every time I see her resin, I love it. I love it even more every day. I think it's this. It's so beautiful. It's even. There aren't any seam lines. It's soft. Um, it's very, yeah, it is very soft actually. Sorry, I can just hear people screaming while I'm doing this because I'm I'm pretty rough with my dolls, I think. Maybe, I don't think I'll be rough with, um, oh, this is gonna have to go the other way. I don't think I'll be very rough with um, my doll Chateau when she arrives because she broke the bank a little bit. So um, I think I will be baby putting around her but uh but this gal like <laughs> i'm just like ah, throw it all i don't know dolls are meant to be played with right <laughs> so that's what i'm doing there we go that's her in her full glory i wish it was easier to get her in um one shot because you can't really you can't really see her from that far away now you can see how big she is though. Like I'm tall, I'm five foot 10, right? I'm a long ass person. This is a long ass doll. She's beautiful though. I I am really happy with her. Um, I just need to sort out the stringing issues, but yeah, I would recommend. She's gorgeous. I don't regret, um, I don't regret my purchase. I'm not going to be selling her. This has been a lot longer than I thought it would be. I just noticed the time. <gasps> Hilarious. So, um, yeah, let me know. I'm going to be doing like an update on her story, um, what I've thought about for her. Um, and I'm also going to do a body review um, of Adis, the doll's own Doreen. Um, because I realised I don't think I ever really did that because when I got her, I sort of felt like, well... What does your opinion matter because you don't know what you're talking about and now i feel not um not that exa i exactly know what i'm talking about but i feel a little bit more like i know what i'm talking about so um let me know if you like this review um if you have any questions about the me um or or anything else just please leave them below um and yeah i will chat to you guys very soon have a wonderful day and yeah See you later. Bye.